I'm Eric Musco, Social Media Coordinator for Star Wars The Old Republic, and I'm here to talk to you about one of the most fun parts of the game, socializing and playing with other players. We're talking about things like speaking up in general chat, joining a group for a heroic mission, or even diving into some of our more complex team-based operations and war zones. If you're new to the MMO genre, these things may seem a little intimidating, and that's why we want to talk to you about how it all works. Honestly, we think that playing with other people is a part of the experience that you don't want to miss. Whether it's with real-world friends or people you've met in the game, socializing is a key part of the older public experience. The simplest way of interacting with other players is through the chat window. You can join the conversation by pressing enter or clicking in the bottom of the window. Type your message and hit enter to send it. You'll find this is a great way to ask for advice when you're stuck, to ask for help in facing a powerful enemy, or to look for a group to play through a flashpoint. You'll notice the word general appears next to the message you're typing. This is the name of the current chat channel, but there are several others as well, each with its own purpose. General Chat is a planet-wide channel where anything goes, from in-game requests to random conversations. You can switch to the General Channel anytime by typing slash one or slash general. You can access the PvP channel by typing slash PvP or slash two, and it's used most often in war zones or open world player versus player areas. Typing slash three or slash trade opens the trade channel, here you'll find players looking to buy, sell, or trade equipment and materials. When you're in a group, you can type slash group or slash party to speak only to groupmates. You can use slash guild for communicating within your guild. You can also message another player directly by typing slash tell and then the player's character name. If you right click on the chat tab and then select chat settings, you can see the full list of chat channels and select which you'd like to monitor. Your chat window can also be used for more than chatting with other players. This small button gives you easy access to emotes. These prompt your in-game character to act something out in the game world, or communicate a set message to other players nearby. You can wave, or even dance. There are more than 100 emotes in the game, so have fun experimenting to find your favorites. When you're looking to group up or hang out with other players, set a course for the fleet. Republic and Imperial players alike will find shuttles to the fleet on nearly every world, and it's also marked on your ship's galaxy map. Here, you'll find class and profession trainers, vendors, and all types of other useful resources. Players generally gather here to trade, talk, and to meet and group up for war zones, flashpoints, and operations. Grouping up is something you'll definitely want to do at some point in the Old Republic. For flashpoints, operations, and the more difficult heroic missions, soloing just isn't an option. Fortunately, creating a group is simple. If the person you want to group with is nearby, just select them and click on the purple icon next to their portrait. If you prefer, you can type slash invite followed by the player's name to start a group regardless of the other player's location. When you are the one being invited to a group, a checkbox appears and you have the option to accept or decline the invitation. Don't be surprised if you receive an invite from another player out of the blue. After all, when you're fighting through an army of battle droids and you see a friendly face, it's natural to want to join up. Finding other players to form a group is easy. You can see who's interested in grouping up by pressing O and looking for this purple icon. You can indicate to other players that you'd like to form a group by clicking this toggle. You'll also find that interested players will enter messages in general chat like looking for group or LFG, followed by the flashpoint, operation, or heroic mission they're ready to tackle. By doing this yourself, you'll quickly find other players who are willing to group up with you. You'll notice that groupmates' portraits appear on your screen along with their health and energy bars. You can select a friendly target by clicking on them. If you're not sure where they are, just open up your map by pressing M and your group will be marked by purple icons. When any member of the group initiates a conversation, other players who are eligible will see a green circle appear. Players can enter the circle to join the conversation. If you're not in combat, you can also join the conversation from anywhere via holocall. Once you're in a group conversation, you and your groupmates will each be able to select your own dialogue options. When a dialogue option is chosen in a group conversation, a random number is generated, and the character who wins the role will respond. Regardless of which character speaks, all members of that group are awarded dark side or light side points based on their personal choices. In addition to light side or dark side points, you will also earn social points. Social points add up over time, allowing you to advance up in social tiers. As you progress, you will be able to purchase and use special social items in the game. 
These include toys, costumes, and unique speeders, so make sure you group up whenever you can. Grouping up is a lot easier when you add other players to your friends list. The game will prompt you to add your current group to your friends list when you complete a mission, but you can add a friend at any time by right-clicking their portrait and choose the option in the additional command submenu. This will allow you to see when your friends log on, or quickly see who's online by pressing O to bring up the friends window. Learning to work together to overcome challenges is essential when you're joining up with other players for a heroic mission, a PvP war zone, or one of the game's more advanced flashpoints or operations. We could talk for hours about team tactics, but at the base level, it's really about learning what role your character is best suited for in the group, and then cooperating with your groupmates to use your abilities to support the team. It may seem intimidating at first, but the game's been designed so that playing your role should be pretty easy to learn, so go ahead and give it a shot. So we hope that gives you a good overview of the social experience in the Old Republic, and we certainly encourage you to check it out for yourself. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.